Sims. Pum pam. Hello everyone. Oh. Hello everyone. Ito here and welcome back to another discussion. Uh so today we are going to discuss something with Kelsin Fora. Hello. Hi. 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 I'm yeah, I'm dumb. Hi. Dumb. <laughs> Okay, so Simfa, should I call you Simfora or Chaos or? I guess you or... can just call me Sin. I think that's Sin. easy, right? Okay. Okay, so Sin, uh, tell us about yourself a little bit. Okay, so I'm an eldritch god and I'm trying to take over the world because it's mine anyway. But because humans have, uh, wait, I have slept for thousands of years. Somehow everyone forgot about me and now I got nothing. Yep, that's it. By the okay. way, if you're a human, I'm going to take over you eventually. Oh Hi. no. <laughs> oh no. That sounds more like a convention. Ara. Ara. <laughs> yep, pretty much. Okay, uh, so, uh, the topic for tonight is. Da -da 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 -da. Why you should. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, yeah. You so the... it. Okay. Okay. So, the topic is that why you should listen to your haters. Oh. Okay. Mm hmm. So yeah, even from the topic itself, it kind of sounds like, wow, that's a bad take. But hear me out. Okay. okay. Give your <laughs> right. point. Okay. So first of all, let's define what a hater is first. Because everyone has a different definition for words. And if we don't define the same word, it will just make the discussion okay. kind of hay go haywire eventually. Oh. Because we don't know what's going on, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah, basics of is it essay, how do you say that? Essay writing. Okay, so anyway, yeah. what is a hater then? So yeah, in my opinion, a hater is someone who just, uh, well, send hate without really giving a good reason to send hate. Oh. For example, yeah. For example, someone who just says, you suck, and then if you ask them why I suck, how can I get better, and then they just basically either swear at you or do nothing basically they don't really give a solid reason for uh them not liking what you're doing stuff like that ah, okay yeah, makes sense right mm -hmm. so yeah is there any other what well, is there any other definition for a hater then because i, I uh, totally agree with that definition okay maybe you can give your take on it what is a hater in your opinion maybe in another uh another way to say it Hmm. I uh, the 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 thing is I I personally don't uh don't think that uh not don't think for me personally that is also the definition of a hater. I can't think of any other else. <laughs> anyway, <I'm worried. laughs> uh, let's continue. So why do we have to listen to these haters then? Okay. Yeah. So basically, what I'm trying to say is. Uh, there are haters and there are people who give genuine constructive criticism. Oh. However, the thing is, sometimes a lot of people, especially if you don't have a lot of self-esteem, you can think, you can consider the constructive criticism as hate instead. Ah. So yeah, yeah. That's why I say you should listen to your quote-unquote haters. Good and but, good. Yeah. <laughs> but this is actually uh, the people who gives you constructive criticism. And ah. yeah. So the hater here isn't the, yeah. isn't really the, the hate the, uh, isn't really the hater that we define just now. Yeah. But it's more uh. like a hater that you might um perceive as hater that turns out to not be hater. Ah, I see, I see. I yes. See. Exactly. So, and the reason we have to listen to them is you're saying is because um, these quote unquote haters, they give constructive opinions. Yeah, yeah. of course it's not, yeah, of course it's not always that way. Uh, I think it's like, uh, when you're just starting out, you do, you're not really sure which of the people that you're talking about is quote unquote hater and which ones are the ones that are giving constructive criticism. You know, uh, here's, here's a weird thing. I've been using the, uh, the quote thing in real life but i know you guys cannot see it why am i yeah. still doing this <laughs> well okay. so the other side uh yeah let's get back to point uh so yeah 
uh, when you're either starting out or or when you have low self esteem, and that is something that I feel like is often uh, often people have when they have when they join this kind of industry where yeah I call it industry even though we're just indies most of the uh-huh. most of the time <laughs> yeah basically. People who tries to make content online usually we're not really people who are extroverted, right? And uh. it's yeah, it's a high chance people have low self esteem, okay. and because you have low self esteem, you you're not really sure of which one is constructive and which one is just sending hate. That's mm. I think that's the issue. How what do you think? Ah, mm. uh, so some people may not. Be able to differentiate between hate, the between an actual hate and the constructive, quote unquote, hate like that, huh? Okay, yeah. so how do we differentiate between these two then? Because uh, um, okay, uh, the, forget the because. <laughs> so okay. how do we differentiate between these two? I think the way you differentiate it is you have to know whether this guy means well or not. Uh, but even that, I feel like that's something that you cannot just quote unquote learn how to do. You just have to experience it over and over again and see. Uh-huh. Okay, does this guy have a point or not? Is this guy just saying, like, I don't know, my voice sucks? Mm. But is it because uh, they're saying my voice sucks? Is is it because uh, I can uh, pronounce better? For example, I think that's also one thing I'm uh, struggling with. I I don't think I can pronounce all that well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And sometimes there are people who just say your voice sucks because it's just something they're not into. Oh. And well, yeah. Because you know how they say, right? Haters will always just hate and it doesn't uh, really... Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's you're saying, that, that... You're saying yeah. that the hater and the hate, quote-unquote haters can say the same thing. Is that what you think? What you mean? Like they both will will say your voice sucks, but somehow one of them is a real hater and the other is not. How? Yeah, sometimes that is the case because, uh, for example, maybe they will not uh, say the way it is. Like for example, if they don't say your voice sucks. Uh, maybe they will say something more like your voice needs improvement. But uh-huh. you can sometimes take it as your voice sucks. Because it's our perspective, right? Instead of what they mean, and those kind of miscommunications, uh, that just happens a lot. It happens all the time. It happens to everyone, and I would say it's quite hard to avoid it to some ah, extent. Okay, okay. Isn't it? Uh, so it's yeah. the way they they this is the way they word it out then. Um, that yeah. the the hater you see your. Your voice suck, and the other the other is wording it more softly. Is that what you mean? <laughs> yeah, so, sometimes that's the case. Ah. Wow, motorcycle sounds <laughs> definitely <laughs> in Indonesia. Yeah. So <laughs> well, anyway, is it? Yeah? But is it possible for this hater who actually try to give you um constructive opinion, but they word it to be? Um, rough, not soft at all. Like really rough. Like uh, it's totally. basically the same. Mm-hmm. So to- yeah. it's possible then. Yeah. For example, uh, this is one. Uh, I guess the scenario is a bit more rare. But when sometimes people are not, for example, not native speakers, they can sometimes uh, things get lost in translation. That's what I'm ah. saying. That's. That's one reason to do it, and sometimes people are just, uh, maybe people are just not too accustomed to being social, and that can also uh, make the words you say uh, mm-hmm. can mean something else. Uh, that's not what you're trying to say, but it can seem like it's something bad. Yeah, stuff like that happens all the time as well. I ah. think. So in the end, it goes back to us as the reader or something. Is that what you say? Uh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think so. so and yeah, that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, uh, it some uh the wording might be soft, but we as the reader might take it um to take it as uh something good, but 
at the time the wedding being done but we as the reader take it as um something constructive is that what he's saying yep i think that's one of the ways to do it as well yeah ah so the con i'll come sec to the reader as well then i see i see oh what about uh so we have to listen to this um you're saying that we have to listen to the heater at uh yeah. haters right so but i uh, actually uh there are some people that i have met um that these people believe that um critic can make you improve yeah not, but not just like um constructive critic it's like being harsh on someone and then that and then in hope that someone um take the initiative to improve themselves like just keep telling the um for example like um person a keep telling b that they suck that they uh, that they suck over and over again and in hope person b will um imp will like improve by themselves out of spite of person a is that acceptable uh yeah that's actually how i try to improve as well <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah um, i will get better just to spite you that's how i usually do it because <laughs> like even uh coming from myself i would say spite is something that you can really use as a motivation <laughs> even though it's yeah, even though technically it's something toxic yes. but if it motivates you it, it's fine <laughs> as long yeah. as it works huh okay i mean that's a mm -hmm. that's uh, sorry about this but there's a reason why uh when you uh tip me it will uh -huh. say tips negative energy so you basically <laughs> that's <laughs> where it comes from <laughs> so yeah okay, so people people tips you with negative energy then yeah. okay <coughs> sorry. but hmm? how about how about others who are that is you but you uh yeah that is you that's how you take it but what about other people who are taking it other way like they they don't grow by criticism but with more with some with um extra positive support how about what about these people even when they get in these um harsh hater comments that meanwhile the hater is using the tech the reverse psychology technique thingy that um telling um they think that telling you suck will make you improve what about what about people who take that as uh how do i word it simpler uh, <laughs> the opposite basically, way so uh basically ba what hmm? so basically like what about the uh the person who um when they get critic they go down instead of going up they they can't they can't improve out of spite what about this person do they also have to listen okay so this is actually what i will gonna say next which is hate doesn't Dang. <laughs> okay continue okay hate doesn't stop you your self-esteem does mm. basically uh yeah uh of course there are not a lot of people or rather there aren't yeah i think it's uh, people who gets better out of spite is kind of rare i think i'm just because i'm just not really i guess uh, i would say i'm kind of toxic in that sense because i'm not uh -huh. really someone who is like i'm quite rebellious myself but it's something that most people shouldn't be just saying <laughs> but okay. uh, uh but uh i still believe that uh you don't uh you don't really uh, you're not really able to have any hate if you don't have any hate affect you you cannot uh -huh. be stopped because oh. uh your yeah hate never can stop you you yourself stops you ah yeah i genuinely believe that because uh like for example if someone s tells you that you're bad at something well mm -hmm. technically uh it can encourage you to stop it can deter you from going further but at the end of the day if you just don't listen to them or either mm -hmm. you don't take it to heart uh, -huh. uh then you can move Okay. Yeah, because like even if you're even if literally everyone else in the world hates you mm -hmm. as long as you believe that you're doing the correct thing mm -hmm. you are you can still move on with that ah, i still okay. believe that so basically um uh, uh oh my god i forgot what i was about to say 
<laughs> okay. Uh, so basically, uh, for those who cannot grow, who can't improve out of spite, like uh, we just described, they they have to learn to ignore this heart uh, this mean um criticism. Is that what you're saying? The these people yeah. who just plainly say these haters who just plainly say that you suck or something like that. Just ignore them and just keep doing what you're doing. Is that what you're saying? I think even if like even even though I said that uh, I can work with spite, there are some times when people just send me hate and then I can I just feel down. But uh-huh. I think yeah. Maybe uh, there was like one uh, Japanese idiom that says uh, Nanakorobi Yaoki. Have you ever heard of that at all? Uh, I've never heard of that. Okay. So uh, if you translate it, it means if you fall seven, uh, if you fall seven times, wake up eight times. Basically, oh. never give up. The long story short, never give up. Okay. Yeah, because you will uh, you will feel down eventually, no matter what you're doing, like. You can do, it, it, and it's not even really li- limited to uh, content creation, right? Mm-hmm. Maybe at work, maybe at school, maybe with your family. Who knows? Uh-huh. You will, but you will feel down eventually when you are doing anything at all. And uh, it's not. I don't believe that success is about how many times you fall down. It's how many times you get up. Ah, and uh, right. right. I had never thought. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Not, my, another of my question is. So you're mm-hmm. saying that when haters, um, telling you to stop, they they say you're bad at it. They, you just ignore them, or either ignore them, or um, improve out of spite to to prove to them that you're uh, that you're uh you're right and they're wrong, right? But what if there yeah. are a lot of people saying that? saying that thing like maybe um most of your most of your maybe uh, you're doing something like for example your your future but right um let's say most of your viewers say that you you're bad at it um telling you to stop or something like that yeah how are you supposed to take that so yeah there is actually uh, i would say this is a case by case scenario because sometimes I sometimes they are correct. <laughs> Just saying, <laughs> because yeah, there there will be times where the people who said hey to you you are correct because you did something bad, uh-huh. and it takes a really complacent person to ne- to not hear hate at all. Uh-huh. And I feel like that's not something you should aim to do either. Uh-huh. Uh, you should find the balance in the middle where, okay, uh, maybe they hate me because there is a reason for them to hate me. Uh-huh. And sometimes uh, they hate me just because uh, I did something uh, that people don't like, even though it's not something that people should hate you for. And yeah, yeah that's yeah. I feel like that's something that's kind of difficult to say, and it has to be a really case by case scenario. Ah, uh, okay. So yeah. So, so this hate. If, so then that means it, even these haters that um that are saying things without. Wait without meaning, uh, mm-hmm. without without even any constructive. If there if there are a lot of them, then you're saying that they have you all. Uh, it's better to actually take them into account because, um, mm-hmm. you might actually be doing something wrong. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Uh, uh, yeah. The thing is, uh, it's uh, yeah. As I said, it's a case by case scenario. Ah. Sometimes, yeah, because sometimes I feel like. Uh, we've seen a lot of stories about celebrities, about uh, even YouTubers that's uh-huh. much bigger and they got a lot of hate and uh-huh. they just feel like they did nothing wrong. I could give uh-huh. some examples, but I don't really want to call someone out on this. <laughs> yeah, wait, yeah. Let, let's not, let's not. I don't want to get trouble. <laughs> yeah, let's not call someone yeah. out on it. But uh, I guess you guys will think of the examples yourself, the people who get a lot of hate because they deserve it and people who get a lot of hate because... Uh, yeah, because of something that they shouldn't even get hate for. There will be a lot of examples for that. You guys decide uh, what it is. Okay, okay, got it. But okay yeah. then, so... Um, I don't think I have any other questions, David, actually. So, in, 
So to conclude, to conclude, um, uh, whether it where the way oh, sorry. So the oh. topic was why we should listen to our haters. Then the conclusion is um because they can help you get improve. They they can help you get better or maybe become a motivation. Or um, if you are not someone who can grow out of spite, then you can just ignore them, or maybe like use them as um tool for self reflection and see if there is really is something wrong that you are doing. Is that is that the is that correct? Yeah, I mm. think that's it. okay then. Uh, do 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 you have any um maybe you have like. Um, uh, your own questions in this topic, like mm. something that you, that come to that came to your mind, perhaps. Ah, uh, uh, there is one. Uh huh. What is it? Will you be down for a part two? <laughs> down for a part two. Let's go. <laughs> sure, of course we can talk that. Like we can talk about that later. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do you have any, Do you have questions for me then about the topic? I, uh, have you uh, because uh, I know that you're decently sized uh, right now. I think you have what mm-hmm. three thousand, five thousand. Uh, currently I'm at four thousand, four point two. Okay, four four point two. Nice. Okay. <laughs> well, since you're at four thousand, it should mean that you should have already experienced some hate, right? Or mm. have you? Honestly, uh, there are some people who were being a jerk in the chat, but. And I just straight up blocked them, and they didn't really get into me or anything. Like, they, uh, how do I say? They didn't even have, they, they, they uh, didn't even take any me, any meaning to them. I didn't even give any meaning to them that I completely forgot their names by now. Like, uh, number. Yeah, I completely forgot. Well, well, I think yeah. I guess uh, that's how. Uh, that's what happens when you have. Uh, done this for quite a while you kind of just realize which one is just hate that you just yeah. need to block and forget about it and which ones you really shouldn't uh what was it you really yeah. should not yeah. ignore i think yeah, that's it not enough, um the ones they who are whose opinions whose input i should really take into consideration because um well they uh they inputs usually come from my viewers and i already know my viewers um, you know, the, uh-huh. remember the name and all that, and yeah. Also, uh, the way I see hate, I see like blatant haters like this. I mean, uh, they're only like, I don't know. I think so far less than ten or something. Hmm. Yeah, probably less than ten. I don't really remember, but I don't pa- pay them any mind at all. I, I mean, I have way more people that love me. They what they're what matters. Ah, uh, that's mm. a really positive way to see. Yes. The, so... You know, I think. Mm-hmm. Hmm? You know, I think this is kind of interesting, right? Because I, uh, you see it from a perspective of a more positive light, and I see it uh, on a perspective of a more, I would say, controversial <laughs> opinion. Controversial. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. and uh... I think that fits really well uh... for a con- <laughs> for a discussion. <laughs> yeah, nice indeed, nice indeed. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, basically, um, how I see it is, you just focus on the positive ones, and mm. not I'm not saying that ignore the negative one, but filter them. You know, we have we yeah. have more. Uh, if we if you have more, we, uh, so for every negative thing that you can think of, think try thinking for another positive thing. So at least you can equal them, and then. When the number equals, then you know that the negative things isn't really all that bad. I mean, you have all these positive things, right? So, True. yeah, no need to get too down about it. <laughs> mm, that's a really good way to think of it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> how to live happy, happy future birth. 
<laughs> okay, mm. so uh, all right, then if there is nothing else, do you have anything else to say? Maybe like you want to promote yourself or something, something. Uh, I'm not really sure because I still have no idea what I'm trying to do. <laughs> because if, like you can just go to my YouTube channel and basically you would not expect uh, the content from the first video and the second video is so different that you have no idea what to expect from my channel. I'm still trying <laughs> things out. Okay, then. I guess that, <laughs> I guess that what happens after sleeping for a thousand years, you don't, you don't, you have no idea what's trending right now. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, you can. Uh, that and that has been Eta Kamama with yeah, Sinfora. You can check out his channel link in the description, guys. Uh, Hi. And, and yeah, that's the end of the discussion. Thank you so much. See you in the next one. Bye bye. See ya. See ya. Is it off?